O'Brien starts now. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tim O'Brien. The topic of conversation here in the Concho Valley continues to be about the water situation. Local leaders gathered today to talk about the status of the water for the city of San Angelo. And as of right now, they say it is a contamination from an industrial area, but they are working to figure out what the chemical is. Now, earlier today, Mayor Brenda Gunter saying that uh, they hope to have answers by Wednesday morning. Uh, the map here behind me, it's a little difficult to see. We'll zoom in here in just a minute. But as you see, uh, the entirety of the city of San Angelo, these these are just the little areas in the uh, southwest portion of town that are still eligible now that they can use that water again far beyond uh, just uh, flushing. So you can go back to washing your hands and showering. But uh, if you notice, this is out near Lake Nasworthy and the airport. You have the bluffs uh, in this area. But uh, if you can tell closely, that's Knickerbocker. Uh, road and then at least anything on the west side and south of there, uh, you are able to use that water again. This uh, entire map is on our uh, fa uh, Facebook page and our site at foxwtx.com. So uh, more than uh, the southwest portion of town, just to give a, an idea of out uh, past Sherwood, Southwest Boulevard, uh, the Bluffs, Lake Nasworthy, and then uh, out west toward, uh, once you get out toward uh, Melrose Place over there on the, uh, out near the Bluffs neighborhood. So Little, little difficult here to see, but uh, majority of the town still under that water advisory. Uh, and as Mayor Brenda Gunter said, they hope to, to have some answers uh, by Wednesday morning. Now, City uh, Manager Daniel Valenzuela saying that help certainly on the way. That did begin tonight, uh, and there will be uh, continue to hand out water to the community. We are uh, expecting about 10 semi truck loads of water. Uh, the ETA is for this afternoon some time. Uh, we will be establishing a distribution point. Uh, which would be at the Coliseum. Uh, we have those 10 trucks, and the mayor mentioned Walmart, uh, the food bank, and other uh, donating sources uh, sent, uh, sent the, the water, sending the water to us. Valenzuela said that uh, you can drive through and they will we'll have the water dependent on your family.